Now, the fourth reaction is not in the same list because fourth reaction is a new reaction for you. This reaction is Wittig reaction. The concept will be new, right? So it is one uh, out reaction out of the league and after this reaction, all other reactions will be again in the league of trivial reaction that we have already studied somewhere. So this is Wittig reaction. Wittig, in Wittig reaction, what happens is suppose I have a carbonyl compound, and I took, I take a, uh, I take suppose suppose I take a, I take a elide of sulfur. Elide is a neutral, stable compound in which there are poles of charges. One atom has a plus charge, one atom has a minus charge and they are adjacent to each other. Suppose atom A and atom B are bonded, one of them will have a minus charge, one of them will have a plus charge and there will be other bondings of A and B. Generally the plus charge would be metallic, the negative charge is on generally on carbon. So the neg negative charge is the carb anion part and the positive charge will be on some metal. Fine, so, or a non-metal. So, generally we have elides of phosphorus, we have elides of sulfur, elides of nitrogen also exist. So, this is a elide. The reason why this is a elide is, this actually exists like this. CH2 minus and PPH3 plus. Fine, so this minus and this plus. Phosphorus is making four bonds and there's an empty d orbital. So, this electron can go into the d orbital and form a bond. So it is equivalent to sh of showing it like this. Here the phosphorus is making 5 bonds. So this bond is a weak bond because the negative charge of carbon is on p orbital and this orbital which is empty in phosphorus that's a d orbital. So it's a weak bond so this the strength of the bond is very weak. So the charge is mostly on the carbon. So it can go and attack somewhere. So it is an attacking carbon, although it's neutral, but it's a, the whole compound is neutral because of a negative charge and a positive charge on phosphorus. But this is a reactive molecule and this C- minus has a potential of going and attacking a C double bond O. But this kind of, these kind of compounds are called elides. So in this Wittig reaction, we take elides of phosphorus. So we understand that even though we show a double bond, so but this is how elides exist. There's a charge polarity plus on phosphorus and minus on this carbon. Fine. So you have taken these two. What do you expect from here? What perhaps can happen? I have told you that this carbon has a negative charge polarity and there it has been, it has been long since we understand what this negative charge on carbon will do. The negative charge has to be, has to go. And how will it go by attacking a, seed, a carbon or any other atom for that matter which has positive charge polarity? The atom which has positive charge polarity is this. Fine. So this C minus is going to attack this carbon. No new concept. We know this already. So when it does the attack, what happens? Now, so when it does the attack, when it, when it attacks this carbon, then this carbon will break a bond and the negative charge on oxygen will develop. C plus and this C minus forms a bond. Right? And this P plus, P plus has, a, this phosphorus has an empty d orbital. And this oxygen can put its electron into that empty d orbital. So when phosphorus starts to gain negative charge, the plus charge and negative charge will neutralize each other. And this kind of intermediate will be formed. So this is the first step of the reaction that this elide went and attacked this carbonyl group. So this is what you have. Now here is the information for you. We have been crying for C double bondo all the way. We have been studying organic chemistry because C double bondo is the strongest double bond of organic chemistry. Now here another strong bond is going to generate P double bondo is stronger than C double bond O. So now the fight is, 
if we can produce p double bond o because phosphorus and oxygen is already making a bond if p double bond o can be produced that is even more stable than c double bond o so more stability will be induced into the system so if this bond comes at this position and this bond goes at this position that means this bond is broken if this bond is broken phosphorus is generating a plus charge and the electronic density from here comes here to fulfill that deficiency of electron so this phosphorus is going to form a double bond with this oxygen so from this side a p double bond o is going to be produced from this side this carbon has broken a bond from here this carbon has a broken a bond from here both are divided of one bond now each carbon will make a bond with each other so the bond will again increase by one for each so this carbon now makes a double bond so now they all make four bonds again this also makes four bond this also makes four bond so this is what is going to occur in nutshell what has happened is you break this double bond from here you break this double bond from here and this group and this group ch2 has been added together if you see this carbon used to make c double bond o now it's making c double bond c with the carbon which used to make c double bond p and this oxygen is going to go with phosphorus that's it fine so the importance of this reaction is from c double bond o you are getting c double bond c because along with this you are getting p double bond o which is more stable than c double bond o that's the driving force for the reaction so very quickly let's practice some problems to learn to write the product for wittig reaction suppose this is the allyl and this is the aldehyde or this is the carbonyl compound so what will be the product of this so what you will do is this minus and this plus consider it as a double bond fine so you break this bond from here you break this bond from here and this carbon and this carbon merge them together so when you merge them together what do you get this is a product that will be of this particular wittig reaction that's how you have to write the wittig reaction fine one more practice and quickly draw quickly draw the product for this shown wittig reaction fine suppose this is the compound this is the reaction given and you have to write the product for this reaction so quickly write, write down the product for this reaction i'm writing it down you try to write it down for me this is the one were you able to write it before me okay so this is the product of this wittig reaction this is how you will write you break it from here you break this bond and merge both together like this So that's wittig reaction for you. Let's solve a problem now.